guys, it's Lakey and welcome back to another episode of Pro Tips. Today I'm going to walk you through how to put on a stomp pad, till pad, whatever you want to say it. Stomp pads are super needed, super valuable, and um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and today is all about showing you how to put it on your surfboard so you can have it placed perfectly and properly and therefore surf your best. So, let's do it. Um, before we get into it, let's just talk about stomp pads. There's a wide range of different brands that carry stomp pads. Um, Channel Islands carry stomp pads. I personally use the Creatures of Leisure ones. It comes down to personal preference. Um, what you think is going to feel the best under your foot. Um, what you think is the right amount of kind of grippiness and stickiness. Um, if it's really soft or hard, they can definitely vary. So. I'm not going to tell you exactly which one to buy because I believe that this is a personal preference type of thing. Hey guys, really quick, before we put our initial stomp pad down on the board, one thing to just note is usually when you're putting a tail pad on for the first time, your board is probably brand new. Um, for those of you that the board is not brand new, maybe you bought it used or you just used it without a tail pad and now you're realizing you want one, you need to make sure that number one, all the wax is off your board. And the area that you're putting the tail pad onto is extremely clean because if it's not perfectly clean, if there's any wax, any soot, any um, water, anything like that underneath, the tail pad's not actually going to stick down very well and it'll probably come up in about a week. Okay, so as you can see right here, this is my surfboard that we're going to be putting on the stomp pad. So the first thing you kind of want to do, to be honest, is obviously I haven't taken any of the sticky stuff off this yet. I can move it around. It's not stuck to the board. Um, but a good thing to do first off the bat is just place it on the tail of your board and kind of just see what looks good, where you might want to place it, kind of get a vibe and a feel for where is exactly center, etc. Now a good rule of thumb to go off of and what I usually use is every board is going to have this leash plug right here and all those leash plugs are, are pretty much put in the exact same spot no matter what model surfboard you're riding. And then what you want to do is approximately about a a half inch to an inch maximum is where you kind of want to place this middle piece of your tail pad. You don't want to be way too far up there like that. That's going to put your foot in the wrong spot. So we're going to break apart these little pieces here. Okay, so now we're ready to kind of put our tail pad down. And what we're going to focus on first, always, is the center piece. I always put the center piece down first. This is going to do a few things. One, it's going to make sure that the whole tail pad is perfectly centered when you're actually putting it down. Center of, of kind of the logo, there's usually a logo right here. You can see the center divot up there um, or the very back of it is right in line with your stringer because the stringer of the surfboard is perfectly centered. Another good trick is this divot back here is right in line. So we're gonna go ahead and stick our first piece down. We're gonna flip it over, usually on the very bottom, there's kind of this like stuff, <laughs> whatever you'd call that. So we're gonna peel that off and underneath it though is really, really, really sticky material. So um, a little trick I like to use is peel it, but we're not gonna peel the whole thing all the way off. We're just gonna peel it right to about there. So probably, I'll call it a, a third of the way. That way, if we, we don't, this is gonna help us avoid getting air bubbles. So we're gonna peel it about a third of the way, flip it over, and again, it looks all centered. That's exactly where I want to put it. That looks good. It's far enough from the tail. It's not too far up, not too far back. Remember about that half inch from the leash plug. And then we're just gonna start by putting our first little part down. All right, so here we go. We got this peeled up halfway. Let's line it with our stringer. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna tap down the very back part of that tail. And then we're gonna slowly put pressure down into the kicker part. And then I use like this part of my hand usually, and I'm just gonna press down, kind of like um, just to avoid air bubbles. We don't wanna press straight down. We kind of wanna start from the back and then slowly put, peel it down. Now remember, we use that trick to only um, pull up about a third of the sticky stuff. So now what we're gonna do, we got that first part down. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna peel it all the way off. We can put that away. And again, we're just gonna go in little increments here. So slowly working it down. We don't want, just wanna place it down. Otherwise, air bubbles, and we don't want air bubbles. Slowly working it down all the way, just like that. Looks good, nice and solid. I'll show you from a overhead perspective. So that first one is down. 
Okay, so now we're ready for the two side ones we're gonna put down. We have that middle one on, which is the main main key. Now we go for the side. So I'm gonna start with the right side. If you wanna start with the left side, that's fine. But I don't know, I'm righty, I'm gonna start right. So again, same rule applies. We're gonna peel a third of the way with our little, uh, we'll call it paper. <laughs> okay, and then we fold it over. Then what we wanna do is we wanna align this little crevice in the actual tail pad with where the crevice is on the piece that we've already put down. We're gonna line it up really closely before we put it down. And then once we get our alignment nice and perfect, we're gonna press down on that kicker part, that tail part, get that part down, and then remember, slowly, gradually ease it up to uh, where the paper is still on the traction pad. Then we're gonna pull it off. We're gonna pull a little bit more of the traction pad. We're gonna ease it down slowly and then our last third and we're gonna ease it down again let's go for that third of the way peel off we're gonna line it up nice and uh, perfect with the already piece the pieces that are already down we're going to stick the bottom piece down get that dialed slowly ease our way up to where we haven't peeled off the paper yet now that that's down we're gonna peel our paper. You can peel all the way or kind of another, another little third chunk. And then one more little third chunk. Get it nice and down. Okay, so now what your board should look like is something similar to this. My last little trick I'm gonna give you is a lot of times, especially on a pin tail like this, or just a board that has a narrower tail, you see on mine here, this part of the tail pad kind of sticks out a little further than I'd like. If it sticks out like that, a lot of times when I'm like bottom turning or putting the board on rail, this is actually will drag in the wave. You have a wide tailed board. Again, this isn't going to matter. This should fit perfectly on it and you won't need to do this next step. We're actually going to take a knife, preferably a serrated knife. Um, if you don't have a serrated knife, it will still work, but just be really, really careful. It's easier for it to slip and cut yourself. So then what we're going to do is we don't want to just go and take like the whole chunk inside of the tail pad off we need that it's literally the tiniest amount so for me the little rule of thumb is you can see my board has a spray on it I have this black line here and I kind of just want it to follow that black line really you just want it to follow the rail and how the board kind of curves here at the end and all I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the knife on a slight angle hold the board steady and then just literally like you're cutting a piece of bread just kind of cut it down Okay, and once we've kind of cut it down all the way to the surfboard, you'll be able to feel it. And be careful because you don't want to ding your board and cut into your board. So just right when you start to feel the board stop, put your knife to the side. And then you can literally just peel it off. It's not the most perfect cut one, but you can kind of see, you know, then I'll come back in and I'll clean it up right here. Okay, so this is, I'm halfway through. I've just done this side, which you can see, it's just a little bit, it's nice and kind of flush and just clean with the rail so water can flow off this side of the board where you can see this side it still just sticks out a little bit and that's not what we want so so uh, let's go ahead and do the other side okay so this is what my final product looks like hopefully yours looks something similar too um i hope that was helpful for you guys thanks so much for watching you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful and beneficial for you um if you have any questions please leave us a comment uh, below and I will do my best to answer all of them. Thanks so much for watching you guys and we'll see you next Thursday for more pro tips.